Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, November the 15th. It's week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 100, Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to 8, and a canticle from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 10 to 14. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, cry out with joy to the Most High, all the earth. Alleluia, Psalm 100. Cry out with joy to the Most High, all the earth. Serve our God with gladness. Come before God singing for joy. Know that the Most High is God, our Maker to whom we belong. We are God's people, the sheep of God's flock. Enter the gates with thanksgiving, God's courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to God and bless God's name. Indeed, how good is our God, whose merciful love is eternal, whose faithfulness lasts forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to the Most High, all the earth. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among the mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear. Death will be no more, and mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things. I will be their God, and they will be my children. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia, hear the words of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia. 
Canticle from the Prophet Jeremiah. Hear the word of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, God who scattered Israel will gather, and will keep Israel as a shepherd keeps a flock. For you, O God, have ransomed Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and redeemed them from hands too strong. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion. They shall be radiant over your goodness, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their lives shall become like a water garden, and they shall never languish again. And then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. You will say, I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people will be satisfied with my bounty. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the word of God, O nations and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia. Alleluia. O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.